What's going on guys? I recently started my dropshipping journey and let me explain what happened. A little bit of context, I've been an entrepreneur since I was 16 years old. I'm a videographer, so that means I've been filming corporate events, weddings, real estate portrait sessions, engagement sessions, anything you can think of that is in the video related field I've been doing. And recently I've been picking up doing content creation and marketing for other brands and that has required me to do a lot of research on seeing what other brands are doing in terms of marketing products and marketing companies so i've kind of always had this interest in drop shipping one of my buddies was a really successful drop shipper back in 2018. i always knew that it was possible to make a lot of money off of it i just never really liked to make websites so i think back in 2020 to 2021 i've made a couple websites previously with drop shipping none of them were good none of them got any successful sales and i kind of just dumped it I said, this is not for me. I'm not gonna know how to make money off of this. Uh, it's not worth it. You have to spend so much money to make money. And um, and I stopped doing it. So I recently found Iman Ghazi's platform, educate.io. Educate's a platform where they give you the tools to start a business at any point in time. They basically give you a course of the hottest business at the time with a person who's made millions of dollars off of it. So the dropshipping course is done by Jordan Welsh. If you know anything about dropshipping, you know Jordan Welsh is a very popular YouTuber and he's made a lot of money doing it and he sold his business for seven figures. So obviously, there's going to be some value to be gained from the course that he has in Iman Gazi's platform. So with all that being said, the first product that I chose with Jordan's criteria was a dental flosser. His criteria is that the product needs to solve a problem or it has to solve an insecurity. These are the two biggest things. If you don't meet this criteria, sure, maybe the product is cool and someone wants to buy it like a plush toy. Maybe the product is a tech accessory, but what is the real need for the product? And to be honest, that's the hardest part of finding the product. But luckily I found a dental flosser. I have personally used a dental flosser. So I know the need for a dental flosser. And I was like, okay, this could be really cool to advertise and try and make a store off of. So I followed Jordan's plan on creating a website and I built a pretty decent website. I had reviews, it had nice GIFs in the description and it looked like a pretty solid website. But now that I look back at it, it wasn't the best. I also created ads with Jordan's ad mastery program on the educate platform and most of this information that jordan talks about on the platform you can literally watch youtube videos like he talks about he gives you all of his information for the most part the benefit of this course is that you have access to the discord you have access to the coaches and the coach that has been very helpful is daniel hammond who actually has another youtube channel who talks about drop shipping and all this fun stuff now with that being said let's talk about the results from hygiene which is the website that I created and the brand that I created. You know, I created a logo, I created a color scheme, a brand identity, a mission statement. I did all of that just for the website and just for the one product. So Jordan basically wants you to have a general store. And the problem with my first store is I niched down very, like I went straight into the dental sector. And I feel like that's very hard to be successful in. But anyways, here are the results of my ads. I had an okay CPC. I had a pretty solid CTR. Uh, some of my ads were performing at two to three percent CTR, which is actually, you know, pretty good. Um, I had a couple link clicks, and most importantly, within the first 24 hours, I actually had my first sale ever on drop shipping. So this was huge. I was excited. My adrenaline was pumping. I thought this was awesome. This was the start of my six-figure journey in drop shipping. But throughout the entire next day, I made zero sales. And my first sale was at 3 a.m. I was at my friend's house and I get the notification on my phone and it says you have a sale. And weirdly enough, at 3 a.m. the next day, I get another sale. And this was weird to me. I'm only getting sales at 3 a.m. and I'm only getting one sales per day. So I started to look at where I was getting these sales from, the location. And the location of the first sale was in the UK and the location of the second sale was in Canada. So two days in, my brain starts to turn and I go, maybe I should tweak these ads and target them only in UK and Canada. Now I later consulted with someone else in this Discord group and he said it was a little too early to make a move like that. And also Daniel saw the product that I was selling and he said he doesn't really think it's a good product and that I should dump it. But all that being said, I had a total of four sales for the dental water flosser within four days. 
and I lost Loser. money. The product I had listed for an average of $35.99, I was tweaking with the pricing a little bit. I got the product for $7 and with shipping it was about a total of $15 to $18. So I had the product up for $27 at one point, I had the product up for $35, I had the product up for $50, and I got a sale at $27, I got a sale at $35, and I believe I got a sale at $37. But all in all, after my entire ad spend and trashing an entire campaign by targeting Canada and UK, I was down about $50 entirely on this product and I said maybe I should move on and try another product. So that is my first product that I tried drop shipping. I lost money, but I got some sales. So I said, let me go back to the drawing board and see if I can make another solid product. Thank you guys for tuning in. This is my drop shipping journey. Hopefully we're going to get a six figure month and I'm going to document it all the way, all the way through till the end. I'm not going to quit until I figure it out. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next one.